To death? Yes. Let's go! Ten more minutes. No! So, what my son was so excited about here was this little restaurant called Siepe Tavoli, Seven Tables, in uh, Huatuco, Mexico. It's really close to our Airbnb. And the food there was world class. It was phenomenal, so tasty, and so creative. Very, uh, well, I'll let the owner tell you about what it was. Um, but the atmosphere there was oh, so relaxing, extremely relaxing. Uh, thank you to our gracious host, Giovanni. And of course, the uh, the owners and all the staff there were just phenomenal. What an absolutely phenomenal experience that we got from these people. Oh, can't thank you guys enough. Here's the interview. I think the before we make make the same thing that usually we eat is real traditional Italian food. Uh, for us, the important and in, in, really in Italian, the very important things is the ingredients. And so you find the the, the ingredient traditional, okay. and really Italian. This is very important. Yes. How do you the, how do you source those Ita those Italian uh, ingredients? It's, it's not simple in Watulco because I have a different furniture. One, one is here in Huatulco, another came from Mexico City, uh, from uh, Guadalajara, because unfortunately Huatulco is a very beautiful place, but it's not simple to find it, the, the ingredient in particular, when you want to find a real, a real traditional Italian ingredient. So it's Mexico, but Italian, but uh, not only here, in every part of Mexico. Gotcha. Yes. What would you say is your signature dish or your customer favorite? Yes, dep depend. For for example, for example, the the um, it's very different. But the Mexican prefer one things the Canadian America another. For example, the for the um, Canadian usually is prefer the plates that is a little bit of cream. For example, the the shrimps, the gnocchi with shrimp and zucchini. The Mexican prefer the, the flour a little bit stronger. For example, the tagliatelle Toscana that is making with the tomato sauce, and porcini mushroom and Italian salsa that you make it. Mm. Usually, usually, the, usually it's the pasta, the best one, because it's house make, and the real is, is the strong of this restaurant is the pasta. You, you know, definitely yeah, tell us. Yeah, 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 it's, it's house make, yeah, 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 yeah. And how has the locals responded? Yeah, fortunately good. Fortunately good is uh, lots of people uh, that live in Artuco that is our customer, fortunately. And also now, what Turku is a little bit changed, there is also people that come from other parts of the world that live permanently in Watulco. and so there is also this client that in, in uh, came to restaurant. Fortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have echo. It's complete. We have uh, we have uh, all kind of customers in this restaurant. Fortunately, beautiful. Yes. And what's the story behind the restaurant's name? Siep yes. Tavoli. Yes. Seven tavoli. Yes. Seven tables. Seven tables. Yes. Yeah. Tables in, in Italian is tavoli, and this name born because uh, there is what is a restaurant in Lebor, in Lebor, in Livorno, where I'm born. That is very nice, beautiful. Also the location with seafood with a good pasta. And so we remember the his experience in this in this restaurant, and so you put this name this restaurant. Hope that is the same the the, the the other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Thank, thank you, you so no, much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.